Consider the vector shown. We can see that this vector is a column vector with five elements. Now consider a MATLAB variable u that represents a vector. How can we determine the number of elements in u and if u is a column vector or a row vector? We can calculate the number of elements in u with the length function. When we pass a vector as input to the length function, the output is a single number or scalar that is equal to the number of elements in the vector. If we pass a matrix as input to the length function, the output is a single number that is equal to the maximum of the number of rows of the matrix or the number of columns. We can calculate both the number of rows of an array and the number of columns with the size function. The size function accepts an array as input and returns a two element row vector in which the first element is the number of rows in the input array and the second element is the number of columns. Therefore, we can use the output from the size function to determine if a variable represents a matrix, a row vector, or a column vector.